What's up guys, I'm Nomadic and today we're at the 8th episode of the Ableton video series. If this is your first episode, go right back to the first one so you can see how everything progresses up till this point. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Simpler to take just one piece of a, of a sample and how you can take that and just make it sound really big and play chords out of it, make it sound really cool. So check it out. So now I kind of want to add a little bit more melody to this. So I just went ahead and I added a sound, like a one-shot sound for my, for my sound kit. It sounds like this. It was in the same key as our song, so I just added it right here. But I want to add some more. I feel like I want to add like, you know, some strings or like something like that. So I'm going to show you a really cool trick you can use to to build chord of, of sounds just from one sample. I'm going to show you how you can do this really easily in Ableton. So create a new MIDI track and you're going to go into your instruments and this time you're not going to use Simpler, you're going to use Sampler. And the reason why you're using Sampler not Simpler is because this is like the one thing that Simpler like doesn't really do that well. Um, and I'm going to show you how it works exactly just just follow along so the key here is you want to take a sound that's just one sample and you want to take that and be able to play on a keyboard like big right so I'm gonna to go to my sound kit and I'm gonna find a one shot a string one shot this one perfect so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna drag and drop it right into sampler so all you need to do is if you go down here to where it says root, just change the root to whatever key the uh, the sample's in. Change the root to E. Change to E3, just E3 is the closest. So now what it's gonna do is it's gonna let you play whatever notes you want on the keyboard and it'll just like take that sample and play it in the note that you played on the keyboard but you can even play chords with it, so like this. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So you could just you could automatically just do that and play chords with it. So um, I'm just gonna add some chords onto this really quick. Okay, so here's some chords I added. Kind of just like drew them in. This is what it sounds like on its own. So you can hear it. It sounds pretty good. So with the other, with the rest of the song, it's not a perfect fit, but it's pretty cool. You know, it sounds it sounds good. That's kind of the effect I'm like looking for. You know, just to like, you know, add add a little bit of uh, just enhance it a little bit. So yeah, that's that's how you do that. It's pretty simple and it sounds really great. All right, I hope that was good. Next week we're going to be talking about how we can actually take our project from the screen that I've been working in this whole time, the session view, how we can take it and switch it to the arrangement view so you can actually start building a song out of that whole sketch sketchbook of ideas. So be sure to check it out next week. Yeah.